and like that. I have um, actually I've put some extra glue inside uh, just because there is quite a lot of tension here, so I wanted it to uh, I wanted to be sure that it stayed close, and this is the shape I have now. Uh, if you want to make it rounder, you can do like we did with the wings. You can make, uh, you can uh, squash the the paper inside, and you can shape it more like round. Or you can build something on top, or and um, decorate it any way you want. But I'm quite happy this way. Now I will put in the barbecue skewer, and then it's time to put in. Um, the plate for uh, the battery holder and the ESC. Now, before I put in the plate for um, for the uh, to hold that holds the battery and the ESC, this is a an old ESC that I had lying around. Um, I need to decide how far back the engine goes or will go. And I have noticed that I'm I don't want to go too far back. I think this is good. So I just take my uh, engine mount and as the as the, the drawing sh uh, says, uh, it will be needing some tweaking. So this is too wide, but it doesn't matter now. Now I just want to know how far back am I going to have the battery. So I will put it roughly where I want it, and I will take a pen and just make a mark so I have finally decided on how far down things will go where it will sit and on in which way it will sit if and uh, I will have the battery cables over here and the engine cables in front and how far down this is going to be so now just so the battery doesn't come up on top. Now I'll take my marker and I will put mark which on the lines where it is supposed to go and I am also behind the the engine mount now, oh, that will also like how far it will go backwards, like that. All right, time to fit the wings, and we just dry fit them like this first. And now I can see that I'm having quite a gap where I want. To glue the wings together so I will have to cut a little bit more here and I intentionally left this left it like this in the plants because you never know the shape here it can be a little bit wider it can be a little bit thinner and it's better to have something to cut away than to add because when I'm done I want this I want the long part from here to here glue together because that's that will be, be um, the easiest way to to strengthen the wings and then in the front here I will put a piece uh, uh, that is a little bit longer and then I will put one piece on top of the whole thing so my goal here is to get the V shape and still fit it over here okay so it's time to carve away 
All right. Now I've been cutting and cutting and cutting, and I think this looks all right. So this is the shape I want, approximately. Um, so now I will just dry, or I will glue the, the wings together, but uh, I won't decide the, sh the, the shape just yet. Uh, I will do this that in a little while, but I will just put a string of glue here, and that makes it still movable and then when I'm satisfied with the shape I want I will put a, a piece here that fits in here of course uh, and then after I glue that together I will put some pieces here so you will get the strings and then we will put the whole piece on top because you don't want the wing to do that okay uh, let's go okay like that I take my ruler this time I want a nice hard crack here and I fold it and now I have the the bottom part for the wing okay so with the prototype 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 oh anyways with the prototype I made I um, didn't want to I didn't make the the wing removable but I want this for this for this one because um, it's it's much uh, more handy so this is why we are uh, doing all these things here and now I will mark out I, will, I take the ruler and I go from the bottom end of that uh, barbecue skewer to the bottom end of that barbecue skewer and I go in about a centimeter here we'll see how much I need to cut later on and I just make a line and we do it on the other side too and I won't cut it now because I want the wing to be glued on before I cut it so everything stays together real nice but I make the I make the lines for the cutting now because it's easier than when the wings are on so now we are ready to put on the wing. Right, the wing is sitting where it is supposed to sit. Um, you can notice that I have put some, oh, like that. I think you can see that I made some, put some extra glue, glue on the outside, on both sides. This will not be enough. Uh, I also put some extra glue here. It is not so nice to look at, but I think it's well worth it. Now I'm going to put a piece of uh, material all over here, so these part pieces stay together, and then we will have a sturdy wing. Well, sturdy enough for this airplane in a way. The wing loading isn't that that much. Okay, so now I made this piece, and uh, as you can see, it will fit over here. I've cut some grooves in it here, and and I have uh, folded it. And I actually I don't need to to have it in the V shape because the point here is to keep the wing together so I, I just need glue on the outside and I think I will put an extra string here but it hasn't anything to do with this one so I will put glue on both sides all the way 
and that will be enough to hold it together. I hope, I hope. Okay, oh, everything is falling about. Just pick up the glue gun. Okay, so now this piece is here. Now we will cut here where um, I talked about before. Uh, now you see why it's nice to have made this line before because it's it's hard to do it with the wing there. Uh, now the cutting, you can put the fuselage on the end of the table or you can cut it uh, by freehand. Just be sure to cut it straight 90 degrees in It's to make it fit proper, properly. And, and then I will cut it straight up here. And remember the little piece we put under here. Now it's it helps to make it this part stronger. So now I, uh, <clears throat> now I have uh, cut out the wing, and uh, you can see here that I have put uh, two extra pieces in front to keep the wing together, and it's now it's even more sturdier. And then I have put these two pieces here that will fit inside the fuselage, so the pieces will go together like a puzzle. And here is the part of the piece that we, uh, there you can see it. That's the piece that we put in uh, at the beginning when we put the fuselage together. And the rest of it is inside here. Right, uh, before you put this to back together, squeeze, squeeze this part uh, together because you don't want this to to, uh, to to open the to rip off the paper from the from the foam. Also, put a piece of tape uh, over here, over over this edge and over this edge. Uh, that way, it will be much easier to make it fit. So. Now we have the wing, it's ready. I have the two pieces uh, that fits into the fuselage. I've also put some tape on the edge of the fuselage to make it last longer and it also makes it easier to fit like that. And now we have an airplane with a wing. All we need now is a rubber band and perhaps I will strengthen up uh, let's see if I can show you here the front part and the uh, aft part uh, or the side all sides of the wing with some packing tape just for the rubber band sake um, now it's time for the back end of the airplane the aft end of the airplane we need the stabilizer and the fin